Hey, Robbie, I think that meant you wants to get in my pants. Father Montgomery. Mildred, I'm, uh, I'm sorry to be calling on you so late, but uh, I must say, Robbie has been the consummate host. Despite his having had, uh, as he was just telling me, somewhat of a tricky day at school. Uh, oh, no, just some of the guys on the team was giving me crap. Crap about what? About the billboards, Mildred, which is what I've come to have a word with you about. Oh, proceed. I know how hard it's been for you, Mildred, this past year. We all do. And if there is ever anything that you need, we will be there for you, always. But the town also knows what kind of a man William Willoughby is. And the town is dead set against these billboards of yours. Took a poll, did you, Father? You know, Mildred, if you hadn't stopped coming to church, you'd have a little bit more understanding of the depth of people's feelings. I had more than a dozen people come up to me on Sunday. So yes, I took a poll. Everybody is with you about Angela. Nobody is with you about this. You know what I was thinking about today? I was thinking about those street gangs they have down in Los Angeles, those Crips and those Bloods. And I was thinking about that bunch of new laws I came up with in the 1980s, I think it was, to combat those street gangs, those Crips and those Bloods. Now, if I remember rightly, the gist of what those new laws were saying was, if you join one of these gangs and you're running with them, and down the block one night, unbeknownst to you, one of your fellow Crips or your fellow Bloods shoot up a place or stab a guy, well then, even though you may not know nothing about it, and even though you may have just been standing on a street corner or minding your own business, what these new laws said was, you're still culpable. You're still culpable by the very act of having joined those Crips and those Bloods in the first place. Which got me thinking, Father, that whole type of situation is kind of like you church boys, ain't it? You got your colors, you got your clubhouse, you're, for want of a better word, a gang. And if you're upstairs smoking a pipe and reading your Bible, while one of your fellow gang members is downstairs fucking an altar boy, well, Father, just like those Crips and just like those Bloods, you're culpable. Cause you joined the gang, man. I don't care if you never did shit, you never saw shit, you never heard shit. You join the gang, you're culpable. And when a person is culpable to altar boy fucking or any kind of boy fucking, cause I know you guys didn't really narrow that down, then you kind of forfeit the right to come into my house and say anything about me or my life or my daughter or my billboards. So why don't you just finish up your tea there, Father, and get the fuck out of my kitchen? <laughs>